Hello? Yeah, mate, you alright? Yeah, I'm good, bro. How you doing? Yes, yeah, the future. Future who? The future is here. Erkin back again with another edition of Buy or Buy. And ladies and germs, the future is here. I robot is upon us. For this special edition of Buy or Buy, we have Nike Harachi Adapts. I'm gonna let the box and the trainers speak for themselves. Look at that. Oof. So have a look. Bro, who has tin foil in a box? Nah, they are taking the Mickey Mouse, mate. They are taking the Mick. As some of you may know, these are the new Harachis that lace themselves up with an app or a button. Just have a look at this. So that is nice and loose, as you can see. Press the button. I'm gobsmacked. That just reminds me of a convertible for a car. One more time, just one more time. I have got both launch colors, so I've got the black and white, and the black, yellow, and white, of course. They are looking fire. These are the launch colors for the Nike Adapt Harachis. I'm gonna pop these back in the box before I try them on, so you can have a proper look at the unboxing and how they look on foot. See you in a minute, guys. So guys, you've seen these on foot, unboxed, laced up, raring to go. For the price tag, 300 quid, 300 pounds in the UK. I woke up at 8 a.m. before launch, 
to order these. Luckily, I got my hands on a pair of each color because I really wanted to do this review and also see if the hype was real. Color-wise, I'm feeling both of these. The yellow ones, I'm really, really attracted to. I don't know what it is. And I was very skeptical about the tongue, but do you know what? The way they've incorporated it, into the actual shoe. The way it looked in pictures, it was very high. As you can see here, it looks very, very lifted. And the way it laces up with or without the button, look at that. Bruh. They do have a strong, strong accent from the original Harachi. Just that little accent there that goes around the back. Very reminiscent of the original Harachi, especially the front. What are you getting for 300 pounds? Now on launch, most shoes are really, really overpriced. But with the technology from the Adapt and also the care package that you get, as you can see from the unboxing, there is a lot of tech that goes with this shoe. There's three ways this can lace up. Of course, the button. You've also got the Nike Adapt app on the Play Store for Google and also the App Store for iPhone. The smartest thing about this is when you put your foot in, it gauges the pressure on how comfortable your feet actually are. So when you first pull it in, it will tighten, but then it'll release a little bit of tension on that foot so you can flex it and so that you're very comfortable in the shoe. Overall on foot, very comfortable, very lightweight, breathable, and stylistically, in person, they're a lot better than these pictures that I've been seeing. Lord Irx, is it a buy? or a buy. It is indeed a buy. £300, I know it's a lot, but for the first batch, it's always going to be a lot. Woke up 8 o'clock to buy these, set my alarm 5 minutes to 8, ordered a pair each, within a minute, sold out. Every single size, sold out. Now I know resellers are eager to get them so they can make a quick buck. Actual fans like myself and you, we want them for ourselves, you know? Now if you want me to connect these up with the Bluetooth and the app, click the link down below. There's a whole video on that. This video is long enough. I didn't want to make it too long. So I just included the unboxing and the on foot review. Let me know what you guys think. A lot of people on my Instagram didn't really rate these, but me as a sneak enthusiast. So anyways, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Is it a buy or a buy? Also, if you're trying to get your hands on them or if you're waiting for another colorway to come out, know the deal by now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and of course until next time take care